Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Aliens and UFOs Encounters video. Once again, I'm featuring another creepy encounter here, this time from the reddit.com website. They're from the subreddit called Backwoods Creepy, and once again, it deals with a phenomenon known as lost time. I featured that within some of my past videos where something happens to people where they end up having some sort of missing time and to this very day can't explain what happened. It's quite creepy when you think about it because something did occur, but that memory is just repressed or it's completely gone. And who knows, maybe it'll take some miracle or some form of hypnosis to finally bring it up. And even then, who knows what people want to know about that, like if it'll be something good or most likely something bad. But here it comes from the user by the name of Healthy South 2610 and they titled theirs as Lost Time While Camping. So let's go ahead and let's share this experience here. And then once again, I'll give my own thoughts and opinions on it as well. So here's what they state. This happened many years ago when I was about 10 or 11 years old. I wouldn't describe the area I was in as backwards necessarily, but it was a wooded 100 plus acre ranch. The land is in the southwest part of the United States. My family owns the property and we have family reunions every year and all stay for about five days to camp. There's an area of the ranch where we all set up camp and cook and eat. Getting to that part of the ranch requires driving through a small village and several gates for about two miles. The first gate beyond the village is slightly past a set of railroad tracks. That's a lot of the description, but it's relevant later within the story. So because I had been camping at the ranch for as long as I could remember and the land was private, my parents would allow me to go off on my own during the day as long as I didn't go too far. I'd spend time walking the property near a camp area, looking for arrowheads or trying to catch tadpoles in the pond. On this day, I left a large camp area after lunch, which was around 11.30 a.m., and told my mom I was going to a nearby creek. I planned on catching some tadpoles to bring back to camp and be back on time for a swimming trip that my cousins were planning. They wanted to go to a nearby river, and I really didn't want to miss it. And so I made it down to the creek and got several tadpoles. I probably spent a total of 15 minutes down there. To get back to the camp, I would have needed to either climb up a relatively steep embankment with a lot of loose rock or circle around a longer route with a flat trail. I usually go up the embankment, but I didn't have a top for the water bottle that I caught the tadpoles with and didn't want to risk slipping and spilling them, outright killing them. I had never walked a longer trail by myself, but I had my dad and felt confident I could find my way back to camp on it. And so as I walked back to camp, I had my head down looking for arrowheads in the washed out areas of the trail. I started feeling a little creeped out as I continued walking. We all know that feeling like someone is watching. It was unsettling, but I chalked it up to just getting spooked being on the trail by myself. Now the next part, I can't explain whatsoever. It's as if a light slip was turned on or someone snapped their fingers and then I came back to reality. Except when I came to, I wasn't on the trail I had been on before. I was near the railroad tracks and it was now completely dark. My mom was standing in front of me shaking my shoulders and yelling, where were you? Two things I remember really clearly about these moments when I came to were... The look of fear, anger, relief in my mom's tearful eyes as she was yelling at me, and then also the confusion I felt about what the hell was going on. The last thing I remember was walking on the trail back to the camp, and now suddenly it was dark and I was at the railroad tracks leading to the ranch, which was over two miles away. The best way I can describe it is to compare it to the movie The Butterfly Effect. The main character would be living in one moment, then suddenly he'd wake up somewhere entirely different. And so my parents drove me back to camp and I learned it was 10.30 p.m. This meant I had been gone for 11 hours, about 10 and a half of which I can't account for to this day. My parents and all my family had understandably freaked the hell out when I hadn't returned to camp. They had been looking for me all day. I was a really good kid growing up and almost never broke any rules, so my parents were baffled at my behavior. I tried to explain to them that I had no memory of getting to the tracks, but they didn't believe me. They thought maybe I got lost and was embarrassed to admit it. 
This was the only time I ever experienced something like this. I can't explain how unsettling it is to not be able to account for all those hours I was gone. Was it coincidence that I had that creeped out feeling on the trail and then just lost ten and a half hours of my life? I wish I had answers for what had happened. Has anyone had anything similar happen to them? Then that's it. That's everything associated with this encounter from the user Healthy South 2610. So let's go ahead and let's talk about that here. Creepy, right? Here they were essentially in an area uh, that was a 100 plus acre ranch. Wow, can you believe that? 100 plus acres. Like you can't even have a third of an acre these days in anywhere like any metropolitan city without it costing a fortune. So they must have been way out there in some area that was just completely remote. Or who knows, maybe it was just bought like... you know, centuries ago, back in the 1800s. But either way, though, he was there. His family was there. It looks like it was a family reunion, 10 years old or 11 years old at the time. And it was the usual thing where they were going to go out and they were going to go camping. And then he decided to go to an area. I guess it was something along the lines of a creek or somewhere there so that he could collect tadpoles. And so everything was okay. And then he told his mom about it, and the mom was cool with it too, as long as, of course, they didn't stray too far. And then lo and behold, once they went and caught those tadpoles, they realized they had to go to a certain area. But the only way around it or through it was either going through a really high embankment, which wasn't going to work for those tadpoles in their possession, or take the longer route with a flat trail, and then that's when it happened. That's when all of a sudden they were looking down into the ground for their arrowheads, and then boom, they waked up. They woke up, and it was now nighttime. Ten and a half hours was gone. Not only that, but they were two miles away, nowhere near the trail that they were before. Instead, they were near some railroad tracks, and all of a sudden the mom was there, and she was freaking out. Everyone was apparently looking for this user for that time period. And obviously because they didn't expect them to be gone so long. They didn't know where they were. And then now here he was right there in front of them, somehow, some way. And then they pretty much were ecstatic, but at the same time freaked out. And he can't explain at all why this occurred. No sensation, no feelings. No remembrances, nothing. They were just looking down on the ground at the arrowheads. And then he said, it's as if a light slip was turned on. And then that was it. They were now in another area, completely different, hours away from before. And no recollection of any kind. What happened to them? The closest thing they had to any clue was the feeling that they were being watched. That somebody was looking at them or something was looking at them from a certain area. They couldn't tell where, and that was it. In that same instant, that's when the next moment, they were in another place hours away. Crazy stuff, creepy when you think about it, because again, no memories, nothing, nothing indicating what occurred. Parents don't believe it. They thought that the poor kid was essentially just lost and embarrassed and didn't want to cough up the truth, but They know exactly what occurred, and they can't remember it to this day. Is it good news? Is it bad news? Who knows, but it's still kind of creepy. Ten and a half hours of that user's life gone that they'll never, ever know what occurred other than a creepy sensation right before it happened. Crazy stuff. But let me know. Let me know what you guys and gals think about this encounter, and then I'll see if I can find another similar story, another missing time one later on down the line. All right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.